Now that you've found and applied the data to your evaluation questions, you're in a position to draw some conclusions about the program. What are we supposed to do with this information? This isn't always part of the evaluation that you'll actually do in the field, um, but it's useful for us to think about what this information is going to mean and how it's going to be used. So uh, we found that our output measure for our school lunch example falls within the neutral range. Um, and I can make some recommendations based on that knowledge. Uh, one recommendation I could make um, is to study the problem of, of summertime hunger and determine whether this number is appropriate, right? I can check my logic model of the program and decide, is this appropriate? Is something wrong? Another recommendation I can make is determine whether the program's budget can support more students, more participants. And another recommendation, if, if I've completed recommendations one and two, um, and they indicate that our program is experiencing under participation, there aren't enough students actually signing up for it, um, we could investigate, right? We can recommend investigating why more students and families don't sign up. Is it that we're not marketing the program effectively to uh, potential participants? Um, and if so, we might consider changing the program's marketing strategy. So this information could lead to a number of recommendations um, with you know, careful, thoughtful interpretation and analysis. Um, we might be able to use this data to actually improve the programs that we're evaluating.